This is the Elden Ring New Game Guide Part 3, Coastal Cave and Old Knight Istvan. I forgot to show my map here, but Coastal Cave is just west down the hill from the first step site of Grace, to the beach and then south a bit along the cliff. Bach will be here if you have spoken to him in the overworld, but I'm not here to talk about Bach. We are here to talk about gold NPC summons. The Coastal Cave serves two major purposes, neither of which is related to Bach. The first is to teach players that some minor dungeons could lead to entirely new areas. The second is to teach players about gold summons. Istvan's summon sign is right in the doorway to the second cave. Don't go through the door or you'll get stuck in there with the boss. Instead, summon Istvan and then backtrack a bit to avoid the enemies while he spawns in. I'm using a torch to make it easier to see, which you can also buy from Kali the Merchant for 200 runes. Istvan is quite powerful and doesn't really need your help to kill all the enemies. Just keep him between you and the demi-humans, and you'll barely even be in danger. Same strategy for the boss. Just keep Istvan between you and the big guy and attack the smaller demi-humans or the big guy from behind while he's distracted with Istvan. Istvan is tanky, but he could go down if you let several enemies stun lock him, so try to bail him out if he gets into trouble. Once the smaller enemies are gone, just hit the big guy with the occasional jumping heavy attack. Istvan will do the rest. As long as you don't go into the other room, the second big guy will just stay asleep. Same strategy here. Stand behind Isfahn and let him do the work. After the boss is dead, Istvan will disappear, but be careful, there are still three enemies lurking in the tunnel at the back. Once you exit the tunnel, you'll be back in the overworld and you can use Torrent. This is the island visible from the shore. Here you can find the Dragon Communion Shrine, which will let you exchange dragon hearts for dragon-themed incantations. This was a simple video, but I really wanted to call attention to gold summons. I find that they enhance my enjoyment of the game quite a bit. Also, if a gold summon is outside of a fog wall, summoning that NPC will increase the boss's health. A few bosses actually get harder if you summon multiple gold NPCs. There are also other gold NPC signs to be found in Limgrave. Maybe I'll do videos about them as well.